Hello again, my friends, and welcome back to another demonstration of Scavenger SV4. This continues my series in which I explore the effects of continued radiation exposure on scores and end-of-game epilogues. Now, as you can see, my vision is running a little red in the four corners of the screen. And let's step into the auto dock and see what our current dosage is. Okay, we're now showing aggressive growing tumors dispersed throughout the entire body. All bone marrow deceased, necrosis of gastrointestinal tract, extensive genetic degradation, immune system completely compromised, and blisters. And we're looking at 4,066 millisieverts of exposure. So it's getting uglier. Now we've got some time to burn because our ship is already crammed to the gills. The only slots not currently taken are what's in the cargo bay, and even that's got one piece of equipment in it. And we have some artifacts still being analyzed by our computer. Let's take a look. So we have a targeting computer valued at 5,500 credits. We also have, still under analysis, some kind of surface plate, something biological, and a power plant of some kind. So, I don't think we can really do any more excursions to the surface, not without being without space in which to analyze anything. But we've still had a pretty good run in terms of artifacts gathered from the surface. In fact, let's take a look at our inventory. Let's look at our manifest. We've used all of our storage space. Currently our entire science lab is full up. Cargo bay, which is for immediate unloading of the rover, is 25% used. The garage is full, so the total ship capacity is nearly 90% used. That's pretty good. So, that's not bad, except for the matter of the radiation exposure. Let's take a look at our science computer again. Still analyzing, this is going to take some time because we took some damage on our cargo because the rover was being attacked by sentries on the surface. So this is going to be some time. So we've got some we've got some time to burn right now, so I wanted to take a moment and talk about uh, the nature of our radiation exposure. At this point I'd like to extend my thanks to a YouTube user by the name of Kizayan, who complimented me on the fact that I actually used the proper units that were displayed while we were in the auto dock. Kizayan was impressed that I actually used the phrase millisieverts. Now, while we're waiting, here's some information about the sievert. The sievert is a unit of ionizing radiation dose according to the International System of Units, or SI. It is a measure of the health effect of low levels of ionizing radiation on the human body. The Sievert is named after Rolf Maximilian Sievert, a Swedish medical physicist renowned for work on radiation dose measurement and research into the biological effects of radiation. Now, a sievert is defined as the biological effect of one joule of radiation energy being imparted on one kilogram of human tissue. If you want to convert to an older unit of radiation exposure, one sievert is equivalent to 100 rem, rem standing for Rontgen equivalent in man. 
Now, what does this all mean? Now, all of our exposures have been measured so far in millisieverts, meaning thousandths of sieverts. Now, let's step in the terminal again and see what our current exposure is right now. All right, we're currently up over 4,533 millisieverts. So that's 4.5 sieverts, milli being one one thousandth. And we're still showing aggressive growing uh, tumors and genetic degradation and blisters. So we'll give it a little more time before we try breaking orbit with the dose that we've got. So while we're waiting here, being slowly irradiated, let me give you some examples of radiation doses in the real world. So going down the list, 5 to 10 micro sieverts, micro meaning one millionth, so 5 to 10 millionths of a sievert is what you get when you get one set of x-rays at your dentist. 80 microsieverts is the average dose to people li living within 10 miles of the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant. 400 to 600 microsieverts is the dosage for a two-view mammogram. 1.5 to 1.7 millisieverts, now we're up into the millisieverts scale, is the annual dose received by flight attendants as they're flying around at high altitude serving passengers. 10 to 30 millisieverts is the dosage for a single full body CT scan. 68 millisieverts is the estimated maximum dose to evacuees who lived closest to the Fukushima Unit 1 nuclear accident. 80 millisieverts is what you get after a six-month stay on the International Space Station. Now, if you want to up the ante and do a six-month trip to Mars, the cosmic radiation, that's good for 250 millisieverts. Meanwhile, 670 millisieverts was the highest dose received by a worker responding to the Fukushima emergency back in 2011. 1,000 millisieverts, or just one sievert, is the maximum allowed radiation exposure for NASA astronauts over their entire career. Four to five sieverts, which is where we're at right now, is the dose required to kill a human with a 50% risk within 30 days if the, if the dose is received over a very short duration. Now, cranking it up even further, 21 sieverts. That's the acute dose that was received by a scientist by the name of Louis Sloten during his experiments studying critical materials while developing the atomic bomb. Uh, an unfortunate criticality accident exposed him to uh, a massive dose of radiation, like I said, 21 sieverts or 21,000 millisieverts, and he died in about uh, nine days. Okay, can you hear that? You hear that slow thump, thump. And if you notice, those red corners are growing in size and they're pulsing in time with the heartbeat. Let's listen to that. Wow. Okay, let's step into the auto dock and see what our dosage is right now. Okay, we're still at the point of aggressive growing tumors and 
We're coming up on nearly 5,000 millisieverts or 5 sieverts of treatment. Let's give it a little more time, but let's see what our science computer has come up with. At first, I thought our research was done, but it looks like the science computer just seized up and rebooted itself, probably because of the radiation exposure. Okay, so we have... Looks like the research is complete. We've got radiative armor valued at 6,500 credits. We have a skeletal sample, preserved bones of a trilaterally symmetrical creature. We have a generator and a targeting computer. So this is interesting. Okay, we're going to check the auto dock one more time because at about 5,000 millisieverts, that would be a good point for me to save and see where we're at. Okay, and we're over that. Notice our pulse is rising too. Okay, so yeah, this is interesting. All right, so I'm going to stop here and save our position before breaking orbit. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, folks. So we're at 5,066 millisieverts of exposure. And we can hear our heart thumping in our ears. Now, most of our epilogues have been decent to this point. We'll see if that changes now. So I'm going to exit the link, exit orbit, and end the expedition. Off we go. Okay, so in all, my collected treasures were worth a total of 94,532 credits. During the expedition, I exposed myself to a grievous dose of hard radiation. He arrived at Davis Station without much time left, a grim prognosis given by the ship autodock and confirmed by station medical personnel. Working quickly, he established a foundation to manage his final project. Selling some of the artifacts for working capital, he established a massive museum to house the rest. The Eric Pearson Museum is now a prestigious institute housing the largest collection of alien objects, the ship that discovered them, and the preserved remains of their discoverer among the exhibits. Yeah, so this is the first time where we get uh, something that resembles a bad ending here. And we are in terrible health with a score multiplier of only 7%. So that's, that's pretty bad. So that, that was pretty dramatic because earlier we had a dose of near 4,000 millisieverts and our multiplier was 41%. We took another 1,000 millisieverts, or 1 sievert of dosage, and we went from 41% on our multiplier down to 7%. So that's pretty bad. Okay, so this is a good place to stop, but we're not done yet, because believe it or not, it gets worse. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Eric Pearson, signing off.